How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my new 300cc custom Grom engine that I'm building. So uh, I got everything almost already that I needed. I'll show you guys the main stuff that I already got. Um, it's gonna be all custom basically. I ordered everything from Thailand. So I got a CNC billet block, um, a CNC billet cylinder head, um, custom made piston, a new clutch, it's a different style clutch, um, a different oil spinner, it's a custom one, it's a little bit different. Um, I got a custom made crank, and then I also got basically every bearing, every seal, gasket, whatever you need, bolts, um, anything that goes inside the motor or on the outside, whatever, everything is in this box. It's all original OEM. And except for obviously the piston, the cylinder, the block, most of it's not gonna be original, but just the bearings and stuff like that, I like to keep original because they usually don't have any issues. So uh, I'm gonna start building it. I'm gonna put all the bearings in the case and then I'll show you guys the next step, putting the transmission in the crank and then closing it all up basically. So uh, I'm gonna start putting the bearings in, getting the seals all installed and stuff, getting it ready so I can put it all together because this came with nothing in it. It's just a bare case. Um, show you guys it a little more, this thing's really sick. I don't know, Thai people are really good at machining. They're just, I don't know, you can't, can't explain how nice this stuff is. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put the bearings in and stuff and I'll show you guys once I have all that ready. All right, so I kind of sped everything up. I had forgot to make some videos. I was just a little excited and kind of went and put the whole bottom end together already. Um, but I basically just put in all the bearings and stuff, put the crank in, the whole transmission assembly, all the gears and stuff, um, put the bottom end together, closed it up, put the clutch on, oil pump, oil spinner um put the starter on have some bolts here for the cover and stuff uh it's basically all ready to go just got to put the top end on it now um show you guys it so um i had showed you guys this pistons and the cylinder head before um i made the the cylinder well, I didn't make the whole thing, but I bored it out and put the sleeve in it and bored it all out so it works. I was going to use this piston originally that I had gotten, but it's a flat top and it's not the compression that I want. So I made my own piston. Uh, it's a high top. It's got some extra compression. Um, basically the same thing, just high compression now. And then I got the head ready to go also. So I'm gonna put the piston, the cylinder on and stuff, get the head on it. And I'll show you guys that. Um, after that, I have to still degree the cam and stuff. So I'm gonna put all that stuff on, um, make sure this fits, clears the valves and all that stuff and have it ready. So let me show you guys the head. Um, it's a really big port. It's kind of dark in here so you can't see it, but I put lighter valves, titanium retainers, um, a bigger cam. So it should definitely make some power. Um, I'm gonna put it all together and I'll show you guys once the head and stuff is on. So I put the top end on, the piston cylinder head, did the cam timing and all that stuff. I just finished degreeing the cam, doing the cam timing. So, just showing you guys it. This is how I do it. And so now I'm basically just gonna put the, set the valves, set the lash, and then put the covers on, cam covers, valve covers, well, cam cover and then valve covers on top. Um, flywheel and stuff on it. And then I'll show you guys once it's all ready to go back on the bike. Well go onto the bike because it's never been on a bike yet but so this is it basically it's coming out sick 
got the throttle body on just to show you guys. So it's all almost ready. So we're just gonna do all that and then I'll show you guys once it's ready to go. All right, so I got everything finished. Put all the covers on, put the clutch, everything, bolted everything up, torqued everything down. And it's ready to go onto the bike now, basically. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Can't really see the titanium bolts, but I got bolts. Try to make it look pretty, but should have just got like straight blue bolts. Cause you can't even really see them. And you can kind of tell, but it's like dark. But it's ready to go on the bike, so I'm gonna put it on the bike right now, and then get it ready to get started, and I'll show you guys once it's running. All right, guys, so I got the motor installed. Uh, it's all ready to go, basically. Just got to start it up and start it tuning it. So uh, let me show you guys the motor and show you my setup. So I got the motor installed, got everything in it. Um, I made my own exhaust system. Uh, I got a system from Thailand that wasn't for this bike, but I adapted it so it works. I installed the AFR sensor here. Um, and then also to make it breathe and if it does end up pushing any oil, I installed the oil catch can setup. So I basically ran stainless steel lines out of the fittings in the block and on the valve covers and they go back into the catch can here. So if anything happens, this will collect the oil and then I can drain it from the bottom. Uh, let me show you guys the other side. So I got the breather coming out of here also and on top there like I showed you on the other side but I also added one on this side on the stator cover so it breathes a little better and just helps it more hopefully so they all run up basically around the top of the frame and come down into the catch can here uh, it's got a little breather filter and then I could drain it on the bottom uh, I don't know if you can see it but Right there, there's a drain. And then basically it, I mean, the motor's been built. You guys saw everything on that. Um, so this is the bike itself. Um, it's got a bunch of upgrades, longer swing arm, um, rear shock mod, lowered front forks, um, a racing style, like street bike style, handlebars. And that's basically it on the bike. I mean, should be a fast bike. I gotta start tuning it now and hopefully bring it to the dyno. I found a dyno here locally, so I'm gonna try to bring it by and see how much power we're making. But let me start it up and I'll show you guys how it sounds and how it's running. on the tune a little bit.
So I gotta work on the tune. It still kind of stalls when it's cold, but I'm really just starting it and getting it running right now. And then we'll bring it to the dyno and get it all dialed in. Um, so yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like my videos, uh, stay tuned. I upload not so often, but if you wanna see more updates and stuff that I do constantly, check out my Instagram. I update on my stories all the time and constantly doing custom stuff on there. So um, just check it out. Um, this is the Grom again. So thank you guys for watching.